Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. On this episode of Reading Through the Bible, we're going to be looking at 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. Watchfulness for the Lord, living to please God. As for other matters, brothers and sisters, we're instructed how to live in order to please God. As in fact, you are living now, we ask you and urge you in the Lord Jesus to do this more and more. For you know what instructions we gave you by the authority of the Lord Jesus. It is God's will that you should be sanctified, that you should ha avoid sexual immorality, that each of you should learn to control your own body in a way that is holy and honorable. Not in passionate lust, but like the pagans, who do not know God, and that it is no matter one should wrong or take advantage of a brother or sister. The Lord will punish all who commit such sins, as we told you and warned you before. For God did not call us to be impure, but to live a holy life. Therefore, anyone who rejects this instruction does not reject a human being, but God, the very God who gives you the Holy Spirit. Now about your love for one another, we do not need to write to you for ourselves who have been taught by God to love each other. And in fact, you do love all God's family through Macedonia. Yet we urge you, brothers and sisters, to do so more and more, and to make it your ambition to lead a quiet life. You should mind your own business and work with your hands, just as we told you so that your daily life may be with respect of outsider and so that you will not be dependent on anybody. This section is talking about self-control. We should be able to control our bodies and not give in to our desires. We're not animals. We have self-control and we can do this through the Holy Spirit. And we should be respectful and loving to all people. This is what this, these verses are talking about, that we need to make sure that we are right with God and have the right, right mindset and rely on the Holy Spirit to protect us from sin. Verse 13, believers who have died, brothers and sisters, we do not want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in death so that you do not grieve like the rest of mankind who have no hope. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again, and so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him. According to the Lord's word, we tell you that we who are still alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet called of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. So, this is giving us a little hope. For those of you that have loved ones that have died, or passed away. If those people knew God, you will see them again one day. Once we are all together in paradise with the Lord in heaven, and then also on the new earth, when everything is reset, we will be together again with our loved ones. All the loved ones that are with Jesus, that are Christians who truly believed and had faith in Christ, we will be with them again. So I hope that encourages you to stay on the path with Christ. Believe on him so that one day we will be reunited. Thank you for listening to this edition of Reading Through the Bible. Have a wonderful week.